Hi, I'm Dave Wollinger, Garden Guy. Hey guys, we're out of Channel 3 Garden. One thing we do out here is we grow a lot of plants in pots. Similar to this Moringa tree, we've got some sweet potato vine, little Aurelia in here. All this does very well and does very well this time of year. These plants like a lot of afternoon shade. If you look, we've got a little bit of morning sun right now, but this afternoon shade's soon to come, and that's the ideal situation because of the fact you want your plants to kind of get a rest from this real intensive sunshine we're getting this time of year. When you're growing plants in pots, similar to what you're looking at right back here, our little pepper plant back here, and it does very well this time of year, you want to make sure you've got great drainage. In fact, that drainage is real important. Lots of compost in the soil, a lot of lava rock, anything along those lines is really going to work out well. If you look real closely at this soil, this is a lot of compost and there's lava rock in here all at the same time. You can pick this up at a lot of local nurseries here in town. About a 20% mixture of lava rock is really going to increase that draining. The other thing you want to make sure every time you water, well, you want to make sure that moisture is penetrating all the way through the pot itself. It's draining down through the pot, it's flushing out any type of waters, and it's doing a good job of really keeping a real nice damp environment for those plants or those root systems. The other thing you want to do, well, you want to make sure that you're making that fertilizer into the pot as much as possible. What we mean by that is, well, taking a little bit of fertilizer, like an extreme juice like this, mixing it into the water, about a capful is the ideal situation. Every time you water, is going to make sure that you plant or your plant is well fertilized. By doing that, you're going to be in real good shape to make sure that that plant is going to continue to grow. The other thing, well, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are a big problem in a lot of our pots. When we're seeing those mosquitoes, especially at the saucers, you notice a lot of my plants are not saucered. We put them right down in the soil that you see. But if you have to have saucers, you're going to have to use something what we call BT. And this is what we use. It's called BTI or Bacillus thuringiensis isronissus. I actually sprinkle it into the pot itself. And this is what it looks like, folks. We talk about it all the time. But a little bit right into the pot itself is not going to hurt the soil. For that matter, it's really going to protect you from any type of mosquito infestation, especially around pots. So remember, when you're watering, make sure that moisture penetrates all the way down through the pot. Make sure you use a little bit of BTI every time that you get a, oh, a rainstorm or anything along those lines, or every two to three weeks. The other thing you want to do, make sure that you're doing regular fertilization. And last but not least, making sure you have a good potting mix. In fact, the potting mix should have at least a little bit of lava sand in the soil itself to increase that drainage. But you can grow a lot of different types of plants. You're looking at some basil over there, lavender over there. We've even got some okra. And of course, lemongrass. All these do well and do well this time of year out here in the desert southwest.